Today I bring you something a little different than usual. In addition to being a mobile programmer, I also consider myself a fan of game development and the Linux world. And the option of performing a complete Unreal Engine setup on Linux has always caught my attention. Unreal Engine is one of the most famous engines for developing video games and a leader in the industry. Epic, the company behind the engine, recently announced that their latest release, Unreal Engine 5, has reached stable status. This means that it is battle-tested to be used in real projects with the aim of being commercially distributed in any market. Epic doesn't provide precompiled binaries for Linux, but luckily the engine is source available. Not to be confused with open source, which means that we can have access to the source code and we can compile it by ourselves. In no case we will have the freedoms that open source grant us, but for the case that concerns us today it is more than enough. Epic, in addition to not providing precompiled binaries for Linux, also does not provide the Epic Games Launcher an almost essential platform to be able to download assets from the asset store, a small inconvenience that we will be able to overcome without problems. Without further ado, here are the steps I followed to be able to download, compile and use Unreal Engine 5 on Linux, including downloading and using assets from the Unreal Engine marketplace. First, you will need a GitHub account. If you don't have one, Go to github.com and sign up for a new account. Also, you will need an Epic Games account. Go to epicgames.com and create a new account. Then click on your username, account. Go to connections, accounts, and you will see the option to connect your GitHub account. I already have mine connected but just click connect and follow the instructions. Also, I have left you a text guide on the video description that includes more details about this process. If you have trouble doing this, go check that link. The next thing that you will have to do is to download the source code. So for that, go to the Epic Games GitHub, scroll down to Unreal Engine, Click on code, copy the URL and clone the project. I warn you that Unreal Engine is a huge project. Uh, for me it took around maybe 17 hours to clone, I'm no joking. Another alternative that you can do is maybe download a zip file instead of cloning. I'm not sure if it will take less time but anyway you can try. The next thing will be to compile the engine. So enter in the Unreal Engine folder. I have opened an official guide to building the engine on Linux. You can find this guide in the video description. Execute this setup file. After that, you will need to execute generate project files in order to generate the required files for the engine to build. And once this is finished, you just need to make the project with the make command. Now, I warn you again that this is going to be another extensive task. Mine took around two hours to complete depending on your hardware it can take more time or less just be sure that you can leave the pc compiling this thing once the make is done the engine is ready to start for that cd to engine binaries linux and execute the Unreal Editor. The first time that you open the engine, it is going to compile the shaders. Again, this is another extensive process. It can take minutes or more. Just be patient. Now I'm going to create a 
sample project to see if it works. It's going to be a third person project. And when I did this, it took me a very long time again to open this project. So again, I have to be patient. And here we have the third person template. I messed around a little bit and everything was working as expected. The quality that you see is a bit lower, but this is because of the recording. Within the editor, the quality seems just fine. The next thing that I'm going to test is to add uh, some Quixel Megascan asset. Just go to the content drawer and add a Quixel Megascan asset here. You will need to log in to your Epic Games account. A strange issue that I had is that I couldn't enter some symbols. So I had to change my keyboard layout to another different layout. I used the United States American English layout and I could enter symbols normally. So if this happens to you, try changing your keyboard layout. After that, you can download and importing the asset onto the world. I'm going to explain now how I import assets from the Unreal Engine Marketplace. So for that, we need first to install the Epic Games Launcher. And for that, I use Lutris. Lutris is a platform designed to encapsulate many technologies. It's a very awesome platform. And within that, we can install the Epic Games Launcher that will run on Wine. And we will be able to download the assets directly to our projects. So for that, go to lutris.net and follow the instructions in the download page to get it on your distribution. I'm on Linux Mint right now, so I install it through the APT repository. Once it's downloaded, open it. Then search for the Epic Games Launcher and install it. The first time that I did this and I tried to open the Epic Games Launcher, I had the server. It told me that I needed the F Sync function in my kernel. There are many ways to fix this, but I chosen to install a different kernel. This time the Liquorix kernel, which is a kernel designed for gaming, which uh, already adds this F-Sync support. So if you have this error, you can try this approach. Go to the liquorix.net website and follow the instructions there to download this kernel. Once it's done, you will have to restart your machine and boot it with this new kernel. Now I can open the launcher without issues. So you will need to log in the first time and by default, you won't see your Unreal Engine projects. There is one more thing that we need to do. So the Epic Games Launcher detects them. The step that we need to do is to create a symbolic link within the folder in which we have the projects with the destination that the launcher expects them to be. So first, go to the folder where you have the projects, rename that folder to Unreal Projects with a space. Now, go to the directory where you have installed the launcher in drive C, users, your user, documents. There, the launcher expects a folder called Unreal Projects. And for that, 
what we're going to do is to create a symbolic link with the ln command dash sf which will link the folder where you have your projects with the folder where the launcher expects them to be after that open the epic games launcher again go to library and you should see your projects there now you can try to download any asset that you may have and you can try to include it in your project after doing all of these steps i could successfully include assets from the marketplace onto my projects i did several tests one of them i downloaded a free asset from the from the store to test if nanite worked correctly also i tried to import an asset of a neighborhood in which i tried the lightning and some more stuff and until now everything seems to work just as expected one of the problems that i have found besides the fact that this installation setup is horrible is that for some reason the engine takes forever to start for me it takes around 10 minutes from the first time that i double click the icon select the project and the project is open ready for for work so this is all for today maybe depending on your distribution and your system maybe you need to install some other dependencies or uh, maybe you need to do some other processes that i haven't commented on this video if you have troubles please check the video description for additional guides that i leave there for you in case that you have some troubles or issues thank you very much for watching and have a nice day